Hey guys, Spiderbite here, and um, first thing I want to do here is just uh, apologize to you guys. Um, we have made like zero progress in this thing, man. Zero progress, and uh, I'm sorry for that. I apologize for that. We've been posting ideas, we've been posting things that we've tried that has haven't worked. Um, and for the freaking life of me, I still cannot get these lights to come on at the laundromat door. Although, like I posted last night, uh, we've seen... Actually, I had that game where it was glitched, where the door was actually gone. Um, but then also, the uh, the footage from Juggerwicko that, uh, that had the lights from the laundromat door that were leading to, you know, the orb in the town, and there was an orb of the sparkly lights um, over by the pylon. So... You know, and, and, and then yesterday as well, or, or earlier that morning, uh, we talked about the commitment aspect in committing to one side or the other. So I've actually completed Maxis uh, days ago. I mean, it's been days, and we still can't get, get these lights to, to come on. So I'm going to show you, because we actually have uh, both sets of lights here at the uh, the pylon. And I'm just putting a turbine on, the, on there just because... Uh, it's not really doing anything. So we actually have the orange lights indicating uh, Dr. Max's completion, as well as the blue or purple lights. I think it's actually purple because it's the blues combining with the orange there a little bit. But the blue lights for Dr. Max's. Um, and I think that's because uh, I believe all three of uh, like three of our three of the four players here have completed Dr. Max's last, and then Axel has actually completed. Dr. Richthofen last, so I think the combination of the players um, is showing that we have, you know, both sets of lights, basically, so we're both we're following down both pathways, so to speak. Now, the thing that, uh, that really is starting to link together here, I mean, we've seen this orb of sparkling lights before. <clears throat> I mean, this is the first time we got it, and it was on the streetlight in town. Um, and it just so happens that the streetlight in town, or the both street lights, and I actually have seen players that have got the orb on the other street light. Um, you have Morse code. There is Morse code that is coming out of those those street lights, and I have translated it previously, and I'm going to go over it again here in a second. The other confirmed location of this orb of light is at the pylon. We saw that last night with the footage that uh, I, I republished um, from Juggerwicko with that. Orb of light at the pylon. So there's one at the pylon, and it happens to be surrounding one of the lights that is also emitting the Morse code. And the Morse code at the pylon is the exact same as the Morse code um, on the street lights. And I've actually translated it several times uh, from when we first started, before we completed the, the Easter egg, till and, and again after we completed the Easter egg. And it was the same set of messages. The only other location that I'm aware of that we actually see these sparkling lights is here at the box. Um, and it could be at various box locations. It doesn't necessarily have to be at the diner. Okay, so what do I think? <sighs> Man, I am I mean, we're grasping here, but I wanted to go through the translations again. So we have help me so I can help you. Because I really think that maybe the orbs of light are really directing us to pay attention to something, right? The future is ours to destroy. And I'm not going to come up, you know, there, there is no revelation in this video of, oh my god, yes, I combined the messages, and because they're showing at the, at the you know, power is knowledge, they're showing at the Morse code locations, and we linked it to the box, so we know exactly what we do, what to do. If I knew exactly what to do, I wouldn't be posting this video, I'd be posting a video, hey, we found out what to do. Um, go to the light, right? Go to the light. Uh, that's four. There are actually seven distinct messages, and, and stay close to me. What, you know, I, I don't know. I think, I think they are directing us, the orbs of light are directing us to pay attention to this. Um, that's my thought. Energy can only be transformed. And we didn't know about the glowing orb at the pylon until last night, right? We didn't know there was another one there. And then we shall prevail. So, what does it all mean? I have no freaking clue. <laughs> okay? I don't know, guys. And again, I apologize. I don't. I, I don't know where to go from here. Like, I can't even... We can't even get those stupid lights to come on. Um, so, we're kind of at a standstill. And, and like I said, I mean, we'll go be... We'll be going back through um, 
Uh, returning to uh, looking at the secrets of transit with some of the other locations that uh, the bus driver mentions, um, as well as some other indicators in and around the map at the various locations, the various bus stops, and continue with that. And, you know, if, if we come upon something or the community comes upon something, we'll be sure to uh, to get back to you guys with it. But uh, if you guys, as always, any ideas, any other ideas, um, we've been all over trying things and, and trying to prove one way or the other if it's, uh, it's going to do anything or not, um, and we'll continue that as well as we go here. So, And we'll stay committed, of course, because commitment is key. I'm Spider and I'm out.